The pandemic has, of course, put a lot of pressure on everyone, from families to communities to entire industries. And no one's had to bear a bigger share of the burden than frontline workers of all kinds in Alberta. They, they didn't have the luxury of working from home, and they never did. They've had to be out there uh, on the job, not only to provide for their families, but to keep Alberta's economy, our infrastructure, and essential services running. And that means uh, being increased to exposure of the virus. Hundreds of thousands of Albertans in sectors like, of course, healthcare and social services, education, retail and transportation, warehouse, uh, warehousing and storage, and grocery stores and pharmacies, well, they all face the threat of exposure to the virus every day that they show up at work, all to make sure that Albertans have access to meet their everyday basic needs. So these workers have won the gratitude and the support of the entire province. But everyone, Alberta's government included, understands that these workers deserve more than just rhetorical recognition for their good work. And so I am pleased to announce that in partnership with the Government of Canada, we are providing a comprehensive financial benefit through the Critical Worker Benefit. This is a one-time $1,200 payment uh, that will go to more than 380,000 eligible frontline workers in both the private and the public sectors. It's an, a sign of appreciation for the people whose hard work makes life easier for the rest of us during a really tough time. Frontline staff in designated fields can get the benefit if they've worked at least 300 hours uh, during the eligible time frame, which runs from October 12th of last year to January 31st of this year for most jobs. Private sector employers will need to apply to receive funds and will then distribute, we'll, we will, as the provincial government, distribute those funds through the benefit uh, to those workers who qualify. Public sector employees will automatically, if they're in the government of Alberta system, they'll automatically receive the money from the provincial government. Altogether, we're providing up to $465 million, that's nearly half a billion dollars in funding through the critical worker benefit. The program's focus is primarily on lower wage occupations, with the exception of frontline workers in public health care, including nurses and allied health professionals. Examples include Albertans working as respiratory therapists, nurses, and social workers, and those working in shelters, crisis intervention, and counseling. Within education, examples include teacher's assistants, bus drivers, and administrative staff. It also includes workers who are critical to keeping our hospitals and schools clean and safe, such as maintenance and janitorial staff and housekeepers. And that's just to name a few. Overall, approximately 240,000 frontline public sector workers will receive this benefit, which includes approximately 161,000 eligible employees in the healthcare sector, more than 45,000 workers in the social service sector, and approximately 36,000 workers in the education sector.